We're all familiar with the start of a new project. We might need to produce a folder structure and create standard documents and have a lot of information to fill in. Repetitive manual tasks and depending on what PDM package you're using, there are differing levels of automation available. Over the next few minutes, we'll take you through the differences between PDM Standard and PDM Professional and we'll compare the differences in automation between the two. A project typically begins with the creation of a folder structure to store your files. In PDM Standard, this process is manual, with folder and file creation following the same technique used in Windows Explorer. Some information can be inherited from top-level folders, however serial numbers are not possible in PDM Standard. These items would have to be manually assigned and monitored. PDM Pro includes a facility to create templates. Templates can be used to capture information like customer name or project number. These values can be pulled from lists or manually entered. And on the creation of a new folder, subfolders and documents can be created at the same time, with serial numbers linking to file names if desired. Data can also be inherited from the top level folder, perfect if you don't like filling information in twice. Once the project is created and SOLIDWORKS models built, an engineering change document may be required. In PDM standard, this document would be manually created, filled in and added to the vault. It would also need to follow the CAD document workflow allowing for revision control. However, we couldn't preview the document when browsing the vault. A link could also be created between this file and the CAD data, so it can be checked out simultaneously. This would have to be added manually though. In PDM Pro, the creation of the document can be triggered on a workflow transition. It can inherit properties from folders, and an automatic link can be created between the file and the CAD data. So files that are under an engineering change can be checked out and locked if required. Because of this creation of the workflow, notifications can be triggered to key users. And the document can also follow a separate approval procedure. From a usability point of view, the document can be previewed when browsing the vault too. When it comes to automating file exports, PDM standard can only produce PDF files and place them in the same vault as the CAD drawing, which means only users who have access to PDM can see them. PDM Pro brings a greater level of flexibility, allowing export of file types to be stored anywhere. It also extends the export file types to multiple formats like STEP and IGES. These exports can be triggered on any workflow transition, meaning other tasks like printing or drawings can be done once the project is approved. Price is one area where PDM standard has an upper hand. There's less configuration involved with setting up the system, so typically prices will be cheaper. If you already have SOLIDWORKS Professional or above, PDM Standard is included with your subscription, so less software costs to worry about. Because of the extended functionality, PDM Pro carries a higher cost than PDM Standard. This applies to both the configuration and the licensing. However, the scope for automation, bespoke tasks, and things like multi-site replications make it a much more functional product. The upgrade route from PDM Standard to PDM Pro is seamless. If you're just starting out, you can implement PDM Standard with a view to upgrading at a later date. Innova Systems have transitioned many companies onto the two PDM systems shown in this video. Companies which are now experiencing the benefits of an easy to use data management system. With the advantages of the friendly Windows Explorer style interface and a very flexible file management system. If you are interested in knowing more, please get in touch with us. Thank you.